say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question. A square is inscribed in a right triangle with measurements of 3, 4, and 5 as shown in this diagram. Find the area of the square. I'm going to label A, B, C for this largest triangle. And I'm going to name this angle theta. So according to this triangle ABC, this part is going to be 90 degrees minus theta. For the next triangle, I'm focusing here. And this is at the right angle. So for this part, it's going to be 90 degrees minus theta through the supplementary angle. This is what I get. For the second triangle, I'm focusing here. Since this is at the right angle, by using the supplementary angle, I'm getting for this part as theta. And now, I can confirm that for those two triangles that are labeled with T are similar to each other. The reason, all the angles in each of these triangles are the same. So, both are similar. I am now going to label the side length of this square as A. And for this length, I'm going to put up as X. And finally, for this part, that would be 5 minus A minus X. For the next step, I'm going to work out the calculation based on the trigonometric function. By taking the largest triangle in this diagram, tan theta is equal 3 over 4. For this triangle, I'm labeling in blue. By referring to the blue triangle, I'm going to use tan theta that is equal a divided by 5 minus a minus x. Let me color this triangle in brown color. So, for the brown triangle, that is tan theta equal x over a. I'm going to name this as the first equation, this second equation, and for this, the third equation. By equating the first and second equation, this is what I get. And the value of the x is 3 quarters times a. For the final step, I'm going to equate the first equation to the third equation. And this is what I get. I have to substitute the value of the x from this value that I get it earlier. And working through, this is what I have. And the next step here. Cross multiply to each other. And this is the equation. So the value of the A that I'm getting is 60 over 37. To find out what is the area of this square, I will have to use A multiplied A. And that is by using 60 over 37 multiply the same number which is 60 over 37 and the value that I'm getting here is approximately 2.63 units square and I solved the puzzle. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.